We are going off the rails. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show dedicated to Disney and Tangents. I am your host, Frank. And today, joining me on this exciting adventure, we have a bunch of great people like Denny Sunderly. Hi there. Jackie Gailey. Hey, everyone. And Rhino. Hello. Hello. Uh, we are going to have a great episode for you. We are doing something we don't normally do. We're calling this a midweek update because after our Tuesday show this week, there has been a ton of more, I'll, I'll say more like housekeeping style news. I think some of them will be probably repeated on our next Walt Disney World edition podcast that we do. But a lot of this stuff is, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, I don't want to just say like nerdier because I hate making like a bad a bad statement about nerd culture because that's what we're all in it's fun but this is the more minute stuff that usually like pete isn't too too impressed by but i think there's a couple things he might want to talk about further but we're gonna get to all that news before we get started though i need to remind you that this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, please consider booking your next vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the support of an amazing Dreams Unlimited Travel agent. So head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free, no obligation quote. Now, I feel like the easiest way to go through this all is by just going in the order that it all happened, and it all began on Tuesday, just mere moments after we were finished recording our show and recording our Patreon after show. uh, There was a big announcement that we've been waiting for for quite a bit, and you know, obviously there there was a lot of restaurants that people were excited to hear. When is this going to come back? And, and in the case of the luau over at the uh, Polynesian, obviously that didn't go the right way. But luckily for us, Hoop De Doo musical review will be returning in summer 2022. That just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? Yay! Hoop De Doo, Hoop Hoop De Doo <laughs> over this <laughs> news. Yes, it will be so. returning uh, for showtimes beginning June 23rd with reservations uh, becoming available starting May 26th. And of course, what's coming back with it, the the show element will be returning all of the food that you know and love. Fried chicken, smoked barbecue, ribs, variety of savory sides, and of course, strawberry shortcake because you have to have that straw strawberry (laughs) strawberry (laughs) shortcake i love that song it is uh, it's my favorite part of the show and it's probably my favorite part of the meal too uh but that being said uh the show will be updated a little bit so it's not going to be the exact show that you knew in love there's going to be singing the performers are all there but yeah it's it's being altered slightly in it but hey i'm okay with that you know it's it's uh, i've seen the last version of the show and uh, you know i'm I'm sure the changes will be minor but i I feel like i've seen that that show now 10 times so it's like anything anything to freshen it up a little bit is cool in my book because i think I think Hoopty Doo is almost like a cult that once you once you get invited into the cult of Hoopty Doo, you go over and over again, unless you just absolutely hated it. But I've never met anyone who didn't enjoy it. Mm-mm. We saw it so. once, like yeah. maybe eight years ago. No, more than that, even probably probably 10 years ago, we saw it and we loved it. We just haven't done it again, but really loved it. I have never heard of anybody not loving it. No, there's there's something for like the entire family, like even your kids can get in on the act. And the fact that like I said to Jackie, when the announcement came out, I thought, oh, those washboards, we're losing those washboards. They're not going to be handing those out for everybody to be able to um, run a spoon over. But then the featured picture is of a washboard. Mm -hmm. And so it's uh, it's exciting because even the littlest one can can make music on a washboard and can enjoy you know, even if they don't know exactly what's going on, can enjoy um, just the entertainment and the interactivity of it and the fact that there's good food that hopefully everybody will enjoy. That's strawberry shortcake. I love that. Can't wait to be sipping that sangria and eating Mm -hmm. that fried chicken. 
Yeah. Yep. I've, <laughs> I don't know if my stomach can handle the sangria anymore, to be quite fair, but uh, it probably can't. I don't I don't think it can. It, it I don't takes... think I can, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Yeah, I, the the last time around, I tried the sangria on the first round, and I was like, "Nope, I am switching to Bud Light. I cannot. <laughs> I need I need something that just doesn't sit in there with plenty of sugar and end up uh, fermenting in my stomach even more. Just not good. Oh Tell us more. Mm. Well, you know, Describe when a man more. gets old. They can't enjoy the food and beverages they once could. There before. comes a time in a man's life when he can no longer enjoy such pleasures as sugary sangria. So, uh, menus came out for Connections Cafe and Eatery. And that, of course, is the new casual quick service restaurant coming to Epcot that is also going to be home to the Starbucks, which, yes, it's it's okay. good. It's very good that Starbucks is getting a dedicated spot inside there because the one as you enter World Showcase, just it's not working for me. I I actually do like going to Starbucks pretty often at Disney parks. Uh, I find myself most often visiting Starbucks at Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. But Epcot's like the one place I never bother with because that just... It's a mess. I don't like every time I'm there, there's always 20 people deep yeah. in the line and then there's no room to stand to wait to get your drink. So it just doesn't. It, it yeah, doesn't the flow is me. wrong. I, 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 it's a little sorry. awkward. No, no, it's it is. It's awkward for me, but we don't have to worry about that. It's going to be inside confections. But oh, but even more important than not that, confections. connections. Did I say confections? <laughs> I said confections, I think- didn't I? It's. <laughs> I mean, I would. I like confections. I'm in favor of confections, but I think it's connections. But forgive me if you said connections and I miss. I probably said confections because now I'm thinking of Magic Kingdom at the confectionery, yes. and I've got sweets on the mind. So I probably did say confections. <laughs> Next, I'm going to call it confections, and we'll cover the ovens too. It's perfect, um, perfect, Frank. Thanks. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Uh, but <laughs> the menu. OK, what's sticking out to us on this menu here? I'm not going to go through and read it all. Let's just talk about if there's anything that's jumping out. Meatball pizza. Here. That's exactly where I was going, Rhino. Meatball pizza. That's that meatball pizza, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I Meatball pizza. I mean, it's I when I go to pizza press, I usually get meatballs on my pizza. But I don't know if I'm going out of my way for the pizza here at this place. I think, I think the thing that jumped out the most to me was probably the bon mm-hmm. Me burger or, or even the French bistro burger. You know, it seems like it's going to be very messy and messy. gross with the caramelized <laughs> onions and bacon and brie and mushrooms and Dijon mayonnaise. Uh, but I, I don't know all those things together. It sounds like it's just going to come, come together in the right way. That plant-based option sounds really interesting too a tiki masala carrot potato peas tomato plant-based mozzarella lime yogurt with a mediterranean side salad i don't know i i gotta see i gotta try it so the burgers are being described as a gourmet beef blend do we think we're actually getting like hand human burgers like, oh that's what human. you meant hand formed this okay is not cannibalism here but like, <laughs> yeah, I, are well, we getting are we, are we getting legit burgers, or are we getting the? You know, I don't know. Disney. The price is kind this, of Denny. low, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Like, do you guys not think yes. the price is yeah. a little low? It's like eleven ninety nine. Pizza and burgers aren't really my thing, but but that grilled chicken bao bun on the kids menu is what I'd go for. I always like um, to try bao bun, but the problem is the photograph of that does not look very good. <laughs> It, yeah. it, it's like a bao bun with like really sad looking chicken in it. And that's where I'm like, because I, I that's the other thing that I was kind of like, oh, yay, bao. But then mm-hmm. it didn't look it's it, I don't know. It was weird. But didn't like a no, I agree with you. I definitely would want to try that. Disney what always say, Denny? kind of disappoints with bao, though, a little bit. I'm interested in the, the chicken salad as well. That's got the petite kale blend. And like I, I wanted a, <laughs> I wanted a salad. So I'm glad. I'm bummed that there's only two, but I'll take it. Um, we have breaking news. Do we want to talk about it? I mean, are we talking about hugs a lot? Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, I don't have anything else to say about connections, and I believe that was actually next on our list, anyways. Okay. 
Um, I am, it has just hit, of course, yep, there it is. So um, mm -hmm. it's just been confirmed that, um, <laughs> hugs a lot, Mickey will be back. And it's uh, April 18th, as early as, isn't this worded weird by Disney Parks blog? As early as April 18, we will start reintroducing traditional character greetings at Disneyland, Walt Disney World Resorts, as well as aboard Disney Cruise Line and at Alani Resort in Hawaii. So we'll be able Yay. to have Mickey get an autograph from Milan and share a laugh with Goofy. I wonder if it's going to be more like additional characters or if they're just kind of naming, they don't say um, like if it's going to be more of them. So I don't know if it's um, just going to be those to start out with or. Well, and I wondered hmm. if at first it would just be fur characters and not face characters, but if they're like yeah. Mulan in there, then. Right. Get to hug everybody. Hmm. It with Mulan, it does specifically say get an autograph from Mulan. True. Whereas it says get a be able to hug Mickey Mouse, get an autograph from Mulan. So it might be yeah. what is happening with it is that your uh your your classic characters like Mickey and such, you will be able to go in full hug mode right away mm -hmm. as long as they have a yeah. dedicated spot but characters that uh you know have been doing distance meet and greets they will mm -hmm. uh they will probably just be doing like autographs but then again it's also so tough like once the kids get that <laughs> close it's a lot harder to be like no 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 stay away don't don't go up and touch them so i uh, you know maybe we're just reading too much into the wording but i I, I don't know. That's that's my best guess with it is that they're going to slow down a little bit on more of the the face characters. And then with, you know, in terms of like it's going to be kind of a progress in how they come back to if if these kind of character meet and groups are coming back in a bigger way, then I think they do have to start focusing, too, on what do you want to do with the last of the cavalcades and do you want to keep going with those for a while or do we want to officially you know knock those off where i mean i guess magic kingdom could technically function you have the theater to meet mickey and you have the princess meet and greets and you can still like maybe still do some social uh, physical distance waving at some of the characters from the cavalcades and mm -hmm. the train station but then the other parks maybe are a better place to do a lot of the meet and greets i, I, I don't know Oh, no, I think I mean, it's this is going to make a lot of people really happy. And, I, you know, I'm I am anything that gets us a little bit closer to the way it used to be is great. And I think they are going to do whatever it takes now to um, to garner a bit of goodwill. Like <laughs> Disney, I don't know if they were thinking you'd be able to hug a Mickey um, on April 18th, but with everything that's been swirling around the company recently, I'm sure they're just kind of looking for a win in any, literally any category. And uh, this is something that I personally didn't see coming back immediately. Um, but I think it's going to, it's going to be one for the win column. It holds no current importance for me because I'm I'm not gonna go hugging even Mickey no. Mouse. I'm it's not my it's not my thing. I like a, I like a, a hearty handshake and a, <laughs> you know, a nice work pal kind of <laughs> attitude towards meeting Mickey and other characters. But for everyone who wants to go in for that big squeeze, go for it. Mickey yes. hugs are my favorite. I, I didn't hug Mickey Mouse until I was grown up married with kids but like oh my gosh i love it so much i love hugging mickey mouse it's just it's just the best ever fantastic so, well a nerd. that was fun uh news to get to talk about because leading up to this recording we were like nope it's we're gonna miss it we're gonna miss it it's gonna happen right after but uh <laughs> hey 
<laughs> got it. Got it right in time there. So it's excellent. But uh, the, <laughs> it makes March 31st officially one of the busier news days overall. And um, I, I guess we should step back because we have one more thing from technically last night, the day before. And that's that we got a, uh, a better look inside the Galaxarium, inside Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind coming to Epcot. And there was was uh you know they disney parks uh released a photo of the inside to kind of show this portion of the queue a bunch of tiktok creators were allowed to go in and you know share videos from their perspective and so we kind of got a better look of it and i i'm impressed with it i think it looks you know it has that futuristic sleek cool look to it it does it does have a lot of similarities to other things Disney has done, like Space 220, uh, the mm-hmm. Galactic Star Cruiser and such. But I mean, I, I don't I, I like the design styles of all of those. So I can I really be mad that this looks the same? It, it, like to me, I, I I feel like this seems like a kind of, you know, fits in with Guardians of the Galaxy. It's pretty. I'm just glad to be able to see inside the building. I mean, Craig, you've gotten to go inside the building. Is this something that you've seen? No, no. When we went in, they only showed us the uh, the actual, the second half of the ride track. So, so okay. we saw the we saw the the main meat and potatoes of what you're going to experience as you're twisting and turning around. But we didn't get to see any of the launch and the first part of the uh the experience and so it's kind of cool that we're now kind of like piecing it all together a little bit because we've seen the launch station now Mm -hmm. shared in videos and in pictures and we like i mean they did a couple of the interviews from inside and showed off the exact same things that that i had the chance to see when i was in there and now we're seeing the galaxarium galaxarium Galaxarium. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure which sure. one. Sir, one of the two is right. But <laughs> then also, obviously, all the progress that's been made on the outs- the outside exterior portion of the queue. So we're getting close. We're getting very close. I want the gift shop to open. <laughs> You're going to get to we're going to have our own Guardians of the Galaxy merch. That's awesome. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not just, they're just going to do the thing where they just give us the merch from California or something like that. So we'll see. Let's move on uh, to the next news that Epcot International Food and Wine Festival begins July 14th. (laughs) It's a big pause. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it was called Building for Suspension, uh, July 14th through November 19th. So once again, lasting most of the months of the year. And, uh, you know, it's obviously very early, so not smart to jump into a lot of details, but Swanky Saucy Swine will return, Apple Seed Orchard, Hops and Barley, Earth Eats, The Impossible Stand, uh, and Shimmering Sips, hosted by Corksicle, will all return. And interesting enough, too, they uh, they said that some global marketplaces will open a few weeks later as well to keep the 129-day event spicy. So uh, they're going with that strategy again, which... I mean, I I don't think there's anything wrong with it, with not having everything open all at once. But uh, at the same time, too, it's like, why not? Why not just open with it all? Like last time around, it seemed like it was just, you know, spacing it out for other reasons and and such. But just just open it. I mean, for those who aren't able to be here for opening day of the festival, it gives them something to kind of really um, maybe just add a a layer of fun or freshness or like they get to get on in on the action a little bit as as things with the staggered opening of some of the booths. And I, I personally, for us locals, I think it's fun to have something new that pops up from time to time. Yeah, Like, you know, the 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 um the market that has the different menus going on throughout flower and garden right now you know the, uh, it'll have three different seasonal menus as the festival continues like it's, it's fun it's fun 
Our last and final piece of news, unless I am missing something along the lines here, but uh, we have a big, big, huge announcement in regards to Coca-Cola, you know, something that we all know and <laughs> love here. Uh, gotta love that Coca-Cola news. And that is that Coke and Walt Disney World have teamed up to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World with commemorative coca-cola bottles and there Ooh. are five there's one for each park that you know you get the uh, inspiration of the parks in terms of the the colors on the bottles so hollywood studios has like sure. a golden glitz and glamour uh magic kingdom is going with that that pink that almost resembles slightly the the castle's current color in a way it's, it's off but kind of uh epcot is going for those blues which i feel like kind of lines up with what spaceship earth is doing at night animal kingdom has a green elements to it uh obviously green green is important for animal kingdom and then the one the extra bottle is the 50th anniversary bottle and that one isn't dedicated to a park it's got the 50 on it and then the 50th logo and it has a, a blend of all the iridescent colors and uh what's cool is that the bottle's are shaped just like the bottles that would have been sold at Walt Disney World or anywhere with Coke back in 1971. And uh, I, I will be honest, I like I like that aspect of it. And it's also still 20 ounces, so it's not like they, you know, they lessened the amount that you got by doing a sleeker bottle in terms of that old style. But uh, more than anything else, I just feel like it was a complete, complete miss that they didn't try to make at least a glass bottle with it commemorating i yeah i need that that collectible glass bottle of coca-cola and i'm upset that we don't have one are glass bottles <laughs> in the park a safety issue no like no okay no glass bottles work everywhere so it's i mean am i more worried about people dropping them in theme parks and then people walking all over glass and cutting themselves and no <laughs> No, I'm not. No, it's, it's safe. No. It's safe. No. Okay. It's safe. So says Craig or Frank. Yeah. Well, I think we went through all the news then. Yep. 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 Um, one quick note about the character uh, greetings news that came out is that they're saying that maybe not every location will open up right away. So like we aren't going to walk in on April 18th and every single character is it, at their location ready to hug you like the, it sounds like it might be staggered they're they're trying to buy themselves a little bit of a uh, grace period it sounds like for some of our friends to come back online so that's good to keep in mind well we're going even though this wasn't really an off the rails episode no real tangents with it we're going back on the rails so thank you so much for having this conversation with me gang and i hope everyone enjoyed this little midweek news update as well and if you did hey hit the thumbs up if you're watching this on youtube subscribe to the channel and leave comments questions and video suggestions in the comments section and of course too if you're listening to this subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and if it's through apple podcasts leave a five star rating and review or spotify too because i believe they do have ratings now and if you want to support us more you can always book a trip through dreams unlimited travel get a free no obligation quote today at dreams unlimited travel.com but that's going to do it for us this week with off the rails we'll see you again real soon next time we go off the rails take care bye bye <laughs>